My name is Steve McKay and I'm at, we're here at a university research station and I'm going to go over the components of our spray system that we put on a two more tractor. So we started with a two more tractor with a front cultivator boom and a rear cultivator boom. On the rear of this tractor we mounted our 30 gallon cone spray tank. Our calibration on this sprayer is 40 PSI, 20 gallons per acre. That gives us the capability of spraying up to an acre and a half. What we use for a pump is an electric 12 volt pump with a roller pump on it, or 12 volt motor with a roller pump on it. That uh, delivers our spray material from the tank up to boom controls, down to the boom with a bypass returning to the tank. We have, a clear, we have a stand here for our clean, safe operator water. On the front, we have a rinse tank and pump. But while I'm here on the back, I'll just go over the components of how that's operated. It's controlled by a switch at the control panel. And that pressurizes the rinsed line to put rinse water into the tank. We'll make two or three cycles of spraying that out on site. Then we'll close this valve, and now we have a high-pressure hose that we can do our final rinse with. Got an SMV sign on the back. I have a little hanger here that here carries a couple of our road deflectors so when we're making applications over black plastic mulch that keeps the spray off the mulch. We have a little stand here that carries our worker protection safety signs that we need to put in in every field where we're making applications. Our controls are right up here for turning on the pump and the rinse pump, standard transmission. Our controls up here, this is a boom on and off with a throttling valve. So in the spray operation, that'll be on. And then we put together and made this here, a control box for each nozzle to be controlled electrically. So we have an infinite combination of turning on and off nozzles. So whatever field we get to, we can make those adjustments right from the operator seat. This electric control along with the plumbing can be disconnected from the boom right here. The control box will then go to the boom. So the spray boom can come off to be able to still use this for a cultivator tractor. We added a couple of electric outlets here, one to run this box and a second one to run our GPS guidance, road guidance system. That's what we would use in an open cover crop field to put down a burn down herbicide. We put this control box together and we worked with T-Jet to provide us the electric solenoids, but we have nine nozzles here so I needed to find cording with at least 10 uh, wires in it which we were able to find so that we could run a lead down to control each one of these nozzles independently. The boom is a 15 foot boom, 9 nozzles at 20 inch spacing um, and these outside portions will fold in for transport. I've added another little guide here so that the operator knows hydraulically to control this boom up and down what is the optimal height above the ground for that boom to be at during operation. And here we are, we've got a 12 gallon spray tank up in the front. This is operated with a 12 volt uh, hypro pump as well and the operator can control and turn this on, shuts off under high pressure. Um, and we have a line that feeds back to the spray tank. You don't see much in the way of lines or hoses. We were able to use um, the manufacturing of Tillmore in these main support beams that allow us to move a lot of these lines and cords from the front to the back without visually seeing them. So that's been really great. So there's a roundabout look at all the components on this Tillmore tractor that we've set up for a small plot herbicide sprayer. We've been using it now two years. Uh, we haven't had a single issue with any of the pumps or circuitry. And it's a vast improvement over an Alice Chalmers G tractor that had antique status. So going forward, I know that this research facility is set up to meet 
anything that I can think of that researchers would need to put in the field to support their vegetable work that would allow us to make a herbicide application to it.